Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got the solid copper sledgehammer. We've got Federal Premium 165 grain TSX and 300 wind mag. And here's your box for that Federal Premium 300 wind mag 165 grain Barnes TSX load. We've got our elk icon little RMF logo on there. Let's flip it around to the back. Hey, cool looking box if nothing else. Here is your promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Coming on up here, we've got our stated game, deer, bear, elk, and more, medium to large animals. If anything could do it, I would think that this ammo could. Coming on over to our ballistics chart here, our muzzle velocity is stated at 3,050 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and open the stuff up. Take a quick look at the ammo. Comes in your standard federal plastic ammo holders. It does have the blue primer sealant stuff that federal uses. Really nice looking nickel plated cases. Let's pull one out and take a look. And there it is, there's that TSX. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wins stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that 165 grain Barnes TSX out of the 300 Win Mag minimum 3,038, maximum 3,053 for an average of 3,046 feet per second. And we are down at the blocks after shooting those, I believe, 165 grain Barnes TSXs out of the 300 Win Mag, and they went deep. And look at this, we got one bullet sitting right on top of the block. I'll talk about that in a second. That is where it actually came out of the block at. But let's look at penetration. There's one right there. We'll give it 36 and a half inches. This one will give 36 and a half inches as well. And then this one will give 37 and a half inches. And what happened with this bullet, um, it exited the block right here. You can see this little scar mark. It exited the block right here. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and count it. It flew back through the air and indented my target board right here as best as I can tell. And then it ricocheted and I actually found it on the ground way up here in front of the table. So my little detective work tells me that that's about what happened. So we're gonna go ahead and count it. It's not messed up at all from exiting the block or hitting that piece of plywood. It had already dumped the overwhelming majority of its energy. So we're gonna go ahead and count that. Deep penetration with these solid copper bullets as we tend to see with the TSX. Coming on back to the first block, we see long and not particularly massive wound tracks, which is par for the course with Barnes TSX and other solid copper bullets. They don't tend to create a massive wound channel. They don't expand or fragment or anything like that real massively. And so what we get is just a nice, decent wound track that's long and then massively deep penetration. That's exactly what these are supposed to do and that's what they tend to do every single time. So our wound track starts at about, I mean, eh, one, one and a half, two inches, it starts to open up, gets a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then it starts tapering off at the 10 and a half, 11 inch mark, and then it just keeps on penetrating through. Let's go ahead and dig these other two out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The Federal Premium 165 grain Barnes TSX load out of the 300 Win Mag. Weight retention, this will be quick. 165 grains across the board. 
100% weight retention, as seems to always be the case, excellent performance out of the TSX bullet. Expansion, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, and 0.63 expanded diameter, which works out to an average of 0.63 inches. Extremely uniform, that's 2X expansion, and that's really good for the TSX bullet. The TSX seems to perform in the 1.7 to 1.9X range most of the time in most calibers. Of course, it's gonna change a little bit depending on the caliber we're talking about and how fast that bullet's going. This at 2X, I'm very pleased with. This load is meant for deep penetration, and I think this 2X expansion is a good balance there. It's gonna let it go deep which we'll talk about in a second. Velocity-wise, our high was 3,054 feet per second, our low, 3,038, for an average of 3,046 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 3,050 feet per second. So don't tell me it can't be done. This stuff came in four feet per, only four feet per second slow versus box spec on average, and our high velocity beat the factory spec by four feet per second. And our estimated velocity impact down there at 100 yards is about 2,848 feet per second. Penetration wise, that is where this load absolutely shines. 36 and a half inches, 36 and a half inches, and 37 and a half inches for an average of about 37 inches of penetration. This stuff is going deep. It's going over three feet. You need a punch through bone. You need a punch through the shoulder of an elk or something like that. Man, this is gonna help you do it. Excellent penetration, exactly what this load's supposed to do. And kinetic energy wise with 165 grain bullet going on average 3,046 feet per second, we're looking at 3,399 foot pounds at the muzzle and 2,971 foot pounds down there at 100 yards, which is about middle of the road for a lot of 300 Win Mag hunting ammo. They tend to be in the 3,200 to 3,500 foot pound range. This is right there in the middle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Federal Premium 165 grain Barnes TSX load out of the 300 Win Mag. I think this stuff hit all the marks and hit them good. 100% weight retention, 2X expansion, which is pretty darn good for the TSX bullet incredibly deep penetration, over three feet of penetration. This stuff is gonna do what you need it to. We're looking on the box, it's got an elk right on the front. It's got the little elk icon. That's sort of what it's intended for, your big game, medium to large. It says deer, bear, elk, and more on the back of the box. I think this is an excellent choice for that. All in all, I think this ammo did absolutely excellent. It hit all the marks. If I was looking for an ammo for my 300 Win Mag to hunt, you know, bigger medium game with, elk, bear, stuff like that, this would be a top contender. If you've used this ammo on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.